Here are 7 reasons on why I should pull for Albedo. Number 1. He is one of the best, if not the best, off-field or turret support in the game. Some people may hate it, but Albedo's playstyle of dropping Solar Isotoma or this Geo turret and then subbing back out is definitely a good thing, especially if you just want a support that brings extra DPS without having much field time. His Eprox can easily hit 15 to 20k with a good artifact setup. You can even build him as burst support in which you can prioritize having attack stat unless you have his C2. And his burst even gives a little extra for the whole team, which brings us to number 2. His EM boost from his 4th ascension passive. Whenever you use your burst as albedo, you're giving everyone on your team 125 elemental mastery. This is very helpful especially if your team's damage rely on elemental reactions. For example, my Huta currently has 42 EM and deals 313,000 damage from her vaporized burst. If you include albedo's burst in your rotations, this brings Huta's EM to 167 and her burst damage becomes 368,000. Although you may need to consider the amount of time it takes for his burst animation to only deal very little damage, especially in my case since my albedo is purely built for his E and this could only lower my team DPS in some cases. Number 3. Harbinger of Dawn and Cinnabar Spindle There are only a handful of 5-star characters who you can optimally use with a 3-star weapon and one of them is albedo with Harbinger of Dawn. Albedo's playstyle fits perfectly with Harbinger of Dawn's passive and even if you don't have Zhongli on your team, you're not likely to take any damage so you can maintain the 90% requirement for the insane crit damage bonus that HOD gives. In addition to that, there's this new 4-star weapon called Cinnabar Spindle that is rumored to be free in the upcoming event. This will give Albedo tons of defense which means a lot of damage but you'll have to get a good circlet to compensate for the loss of crit rate and crit damage from Harbinger of Dawn. Number 4, Aesthetics. To be honest, I only pulled for Albedo because of his cool looking fashion and hairstyle. The in-game model may not be as cool as the Albedo in this splash art, but for me, he still looks cool nonetheless. He just has this calm demeanor while also showing he could be dangerous at the same time. I pulled for him for the aesthetics, but he stayed on my team for the damage. Also, his burst animation is just icing on the cake. Number 5 is the utility that Albedo provides. Although it's somewhat inconsistent, Albedo's elevator can be quite useful when climbing walls or even setting up plunge attacks for your team. What's always unnoticed about Albedo's kit is his ability to generate tons of shield in the battlefield which comes in handy in prolonged fights, especially if you don't have a shielder on your team. Number 6. Albedo is easy to build. Since there's really no 4-piece artifact set that fully complements Albedo's kit, for now, you can just get by with 2-piece Archaic Petra and 2-piece anything else. Get a decent crit rate and crit rate damage ratio, easy to get defense percentage rolls, then you'll max out his E and put Harbinger of Dawn and then you're good to go. However, there's a rumored artifact set coming next patch alongside a free Forster Sword. It's turning out to be really good on Albedo, and with the addition of these two, we may see a completely different level of Albedo builds. Personally, I am looking forward to these new upgrades for my albedo and hopefully I can get mine to hit 30k with every proc of his E. Number 7. He's insanely good to pair with another Geo DPS like Zhongli, Ningguang, Ito or Noel. If you have Zhongli, then you should consider getting albedo because of their turrets working very well with each other. Zhongli's pillar resonates through the solar isotoma and the resonance damage can proc albedo's E damage. They also provide each other Geo Energy Particles, so they'd basically have quick burst uptime. He's also a great battery for other DPS like Ito, Ningguang, and Noel. And that is all on our list. As always, thanks for watching.